Okay, we're recording in progress. Uh -oh. People are coming in. People are coming in. Hello, hello. hello. Look at that smile, Danielle. My gosh, you're a happy person. All right, thank you for coming. Turn on your microphone. You're welcome. Thank you. So glad to be here. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I missed last week. Oh, that's good to have you. It's great. Thank you. Everybody, good to be everybody's here. welcome. Thank okay. you. And James, in case you don't know, Daniel always have that amazing smile. Always. always. You need to tell <laughs> us what you do, how you do it. No, Sometimes we need it. <laughs> share. You need to share some of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I can definitely say the last video that was posted brings me there every time. So that worship, whoever posted that's the great. worship, that oh, was that's great. that's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad that's well received. Good. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. loved it. Um, who did that? <laughs> who? Yes, it was good. Okay. And uh, let's see. We have Nadia. Hola. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Sí, todo bien. Bien. Sí, excelente. Y nadie, ¿dónde vives? Dani, es nada, me la gana. Perdón. Yo le sé, ya. Okay. American. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, en, uh, Virginia. Virginia, okay. Well, mm -hmm. tu español es excelente. <laughs> Muy bien. Excelente. Okay, Karen, Nancy, Brendan's back in the house. That's good. All right, Ken, need to change your name. Necesitas cambiar tu nombre. Okay, Babu, Carol, Carol, we can't see you yet. Manish, we just see the very top of your head. There we go. All right, I'm sure Steve will be back soon. Doug's coming in. Phil's in the house again. Okay, good. Awesome. All right, um, feel free, anybody, just unmute yourself and feel free to say hello. Bienvenidos. Vamos gatos. <laughs> All right, Florida Panthers. Uh, okay. Yeah. How do you say panther? Pantera, maybe? I'm not sure. Probably, I don't know. But but they usually in Florida they say vamos gatos. So okay. Go cats. Uh, okay. It's part of the hockey team. So yeah, it's exciting. Um Pantera? Panther? Puma? I totally guess. Puma? Yes, Pantera. Agua? Pantera. Sí, Pantera. <laughs> I know, do you say Jaguar or Jaguar? Jaguar. Jaguar? Yep. Con J. Jota de Juniet. Yes. Muy bien. Okay. Good. What's Mr. Roseboro doing? Is he hiding? <laughs> He'll be coming on. Mm -hmm. Saludos todos. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, um, let's jump in. Any questions this week? How's how's your week going? Karen, tell us about you. Where are you here from? You're on mute. You're on mute. Oh, oh. Is that better? Hey. hey there. Can you hear me now? Uh yeah. Okay. Move here. Okay. okay. Yeah, the sound is a little bit difficult, a little bit muffled. Um, okay. but, but don't worry too much. Don't no stress. We don't. Know uh, can you write that word, James? Muffled. I don't know it. Muffled. Okay. Sure. Let me open up this chat here. Muffled. Good word. Um, is that how you spell it, guys? Muffled? M-U-F-F-L-E-D. Yes. I got it Correct right. Those okay. Up. Good. So, muffled. Um, so it sounds like it's inside something. Tordo. Oh. Yeah. Muffled. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Karen Springer. 
Okie dokie. Okay, Mr. Roseboro, you made it. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, did anybody go back to last week's video and did anybody get the download that uh, Anna put for last week's words and phrases? Did you get that and look at it after the event? Is that better? That's way better. Okay, okay. I have my headset on. All right. Well, yeah. good. Yeah, turned right. it off. Glad you're here. How's your How's your Spanish journey? <laughs> it has been long, but I'm staying at it. Excellent. It's okay. been a while. Do you have any questions? Is there anything specific we can help with? Algo específico? No, I think I need to listen. Uh, como se dice? Listen. Escucha. Oh, uh, escucha. Si. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you can. You feel free. You everybody can just can participate or just hang back. Totally up to you. Good. Just grab. Thanks for being here. Okay. Hey, nada. All right, Levy, Carol. Okay, do turn on your uh, camera if you can, folks. Um, okay. Nancy, any questions? Did your computer get uh, resolved? Seems like you're on a computer. Yes. Um, I think it's okay. I think there was a problem between my desktop being on Windows 10, my laptop being on Windows 11, and everybody wasn't talking to each other. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hope it's good. good. I did put a question in here, something I do not understand. Can I get the recording from last week? No, nope, uh, that's not yes. me, but yes. Oh. Uh, Nancy, bien, tiene un gorro nuevo. Okay. <laughs> Bryce, you got a new That hat? was me about the recording for last week. <laughs> okay, Nadia. Mm -hmm. uh, not Nadia. Um, Bryce, I don't think that's a new, that's not a new hat, Bryce. You got like a thousand hats, right? No, I, I, this is one I used to wear earlier on in my, in my earlier Shalingo days. <laughs> <laughs> new to me. <laughs> <laughs> All newly right. seen. Do <laughs> uh, you say? Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, there's a couple other people. We we can see the waiting room. We're just kind of hanging out to see if a couple more people. We've we've accepted them, but they haven't bounced in yet. So sorry for any delays. If I'm waffling a little bit, but. Um, what? I know that's amazing. Anyway, good job. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good, good job, Anna. Okay. I know. Um. All right. So, if everybody, uh, who's new? Who is who's new? Anybody? No. Okay. So everybody knows Anna. Everybody knows James, who we call Bryce. Okay. Uh. Great. Okay. Welcome everybody. So. Uh, if there's no specific questions, and remember, our goal is to just help you move forward, whatever you need. Uh, so if you have specific questions, you can ask them at any time. We'll do our best. We don't necessarily know everything. Well, Anna does, but some of us don't know everything. The one that knows everything is Bryce. No, no. If there's a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so James, right. Bryce, Anna, I have Anna, excuse me, a question up there. I do not understand at all how Al Abrer Uno becomes when he opens. Someone please explain that to me. Al Abrir. Al Abrir. Al -abrir yes. I, I wasn't ignoring your question. I was trying to find the link from last week recording. No, it wasn't. Um, it was in something else. And I completely did not understand it. Um, where did we share this this no, thing with no, him? It no. wasn't in the class, right? No. 
Okay, no. because I was worried that would no, 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 <laughs> not at all. I was, studying, I was okay. studying independently and I came across this and I went, what? Okay, so al abrir uno de los cajones. Okay, mm -hmm. so al abrir uno de los cajones, I hope it is, yes, but it's an action that me, you, he, or she can do. Okay, so we don't know who is doing that action. Okay. So it should be when he, when I, when when he, when she, when I open one of the drawers, uh -huh. right, Bryce? That would yeah. be the right well, translation. Okay. Yeah, was, as a matter of fact, on one of the lessons that we had, um, I I used an example with I'll and then an infinitive, but it was one of the examples we didn't get to in the class. Ah, okay. But, but you can say, you know, for example, if I say, you know, by, you know, you know, James said this in the past, and you know, other people said this in the past, by learning another language, you know, literally we're making ourselves smarter, you know, so which would be, you know, by learning a aprender otro idioma, literalmente nos hacemos más inteligentes, you know, by, by learning al aprender otro, so that's just, that's the... Uh... Hmm. Okay, so uh, Nancy, it it's not literally, um, when opening um, or when he opens, it's upon opening or um, it, it has that connotation of when opening, upon opening, okay. uh, having having opened, um, by opening. Does that make sense? That makes it's, a little more sense, yes. It's, it's more of like, what, what's the mental image that a Spanish speaker gets it's the action of opening, but because of the opening, something happens. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And it could be translated when yeah. opening the drawer. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excellent question. Somebody else write something in there. And Anna has put up a YouTube Okie dokie. Okay. Um, Brendan, you're quiet like always. What are you thinking? <laughs> Nada. <laughs> no? Okay. Any questions? How do you do that? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um, okay. So we are going to jump into this week's Oh, somebody asked, where can you get the recording from last week? Uh, we usually post it in the Facebook group, but we definitely put it onto the YouTube channel, right? Um, so usually Thursdays are very busy. And so we we upload it to YouTube and we tried, I don't know, Anna, last week, did we put the YouTube into the Facebook group also? No, we put it on, I didn't put it, only on YouTube. Okay. Right, so maybe we need to... I chatted with her, so. Okay. Uh, okay, great. Okay. Um, any other good questions like that? We'll take average questions, too. Well, at least a couple people smiled. Okay, okay. so for example, um, you would say, I just sent the link. Like, how would you say the word link? In, in Espanol. In last name. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. That helps. So if it can is it possible to text that in there or I or I sent the link just to because I'm more visual. You know, once I see something in the letters, then it I can absorb it. Ah, there it is. And uh, okay, thank you. Muchas gracias. Oh, right, that helps. De nada. Okay, so Phil, take that. To the next step and see if you can write i just sent the link oh okay oh, wait i know the word um, you know this if not there's a lot enviar. of okay one second enviado maybe i don't know if that's correct i doubt it but let's go for there's it there's a lot of people here just itching to help yes i i know <laughs> Uh, okay, so just and, I just so, somebody somebody yeah, I'm write not sure. in the, sorry guys right in the chat somebody write in the chat I just 
Awesome. Everybody can see the chat, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in there right now. Okay. I just, yeah. Um, couple day. Couple day. Uh, NVR. Um, ah, what's that word? Sorry. Enlace. I have, that's a tough Enlace. word. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good, good. Good, good. All right. Put it all together. Okay. So is it Acabo de Enviar? Um, Hola, Jen. And it's Acabos. Enlace. Uh-huh. El, el, el Enlace, I think. Yeah. All right. Anna, can you write the whole sentence, please? Yeah. That, I would, just, that would help. I just sent the link. Okay. It's a good word. Enlace. Enlace. Capo okay. de enviar en yeah. ah, el enlace. Exactly. Okay, I remember enviar. I, at least I got that. So. No, you did great. You did. Yeah, no, thank you. Gracias. Okay. All right. So, um, <clears throat> probably enviar. I would also say that you, you might translate. Here's here's a Bryce question. Does that also equate to um, I just finished sending the link. Would you also mm. put that in there, or does it only I just sent? Well, in this case, is I just sent. I just I just sent. Yes. A cabo de, a cabo de, but a cabo de plus infinitive. So yes, yes, something that's the structure. So something to notice, folks, is that we're not trying to change MBR into past tense, like sent. We're using the infinitive. Am I making sense here? Mm -hmm. Because the acabo de, acabo de what? I, I just what? And we use the infinitive. Okay, anyway. Acabo de terminar the MBR. I just finished sending. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Julie Malone, no puedo ver la pantalla. Uh, the, which, what are you talking about, Julie? You can't see the chat? Oh. Uh, no, I can't. I, are you going? I'm sorry, I joined late. Are you going over a question? Because uh, I can't see the screen. I can't see. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have not started sharing the screen. This was. Just... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I joined late, okay. so I thought maybe you were ahead of me. Sorry. It's all good, Julie. Uh, we're just. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Phil asked a question, but we're just still in the chat with the question. So if you can open the chat, you'll see kind of the history there. Um, maybe we should have moved over to the document to do this, but mm. I'll start sharing now. Um. All right, 150, let's go with uh, 200 and share. And I think it's this one. Okay, can everybody see? Puedes traerme algo de comer? See, si. great. Mm -hmm. We got the right screen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I do want to say hello to Giancarlo. Sola. Bienvenido. Okay. Muy bien. Un amigo de Asalia, verdad? Sí. Si? Okay. Muy bien. Su micrófono está apagado. Okay. Yeah. Okay. ¿Y vives, vives aquí en Arizona o dónde? Ok, muy bien. Ok, excelente. Ok, uh, hablamos más en inglés, pero es, es bueno, puedes escuchar mucho, ¿está bien? Pero si, si tienes cualquier duda o pregunta, está bien. Ok, who wants to do number one? Um, can I do number one? I'm, I'm I, getting ready to drive, so I'd like to participate a little bit. 
I can. Jump in, Julie. Can you see um, it? Can you bring me something to eat? Right. Pretty easy, right? Okay. So, Bryce, what's the lesson here today? What are we focusing on? Okay. Um, I put just a couple of examples with traer y llevar, just to just to demonstrate the difference between bringing and taking. But I didn't, couldn't do a whole, you know, it, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory as far as those uses. And then, but the rest of the lesson is uh, the use of conocer versus saber. Awesome. Sometimes people confuse the two no's. And, so let's and make of course, sure. and the same thing for Spanish speakers because, you know, in English, you know, it's knowing the words met and no. Okay, let's make so sure important. let's make sure we get down that far. So we'll try not yes. to dwell too much on the first 10. We'll make sure yeah. we get to the second 10 because that's super interesting. So um, what we want to what what you should take away from this, folks, for the first part um, is in Spanish, it matters where you are now. Right? Like uh, you know, um uh, you, you can't say, um, you cannot say, bring the bags to the airport with you because you're not at the airport. So you can't bring them to the airport. Does that make sense? Okay. If you're already at the airport, you can ask somebody to bring the bags to you. That's a distinction. So let's play with this. Number two, please. Good job, Julie. Uh, feel oh, free, feel free to uh, use the raise hand if you if you want to kind of get in there. But Asalia did raise her hand. Me, she knows how to play the drums. Ella sabe cómo tocar la batería. I think. Batería. Is not battery. It's not like pilas, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, I always want to say one thing on that. Uh, it's, Thank you, Asa. It's pretty much optional. Like people, some people use como. It, it, it's so common both ways to, to, to say, you know, sabe tocar la batería or sabe como. It, it's super common both ways. So just, just so everybody knows. Okay. So, tocar, tocar, what does that mean? What's that infinitive mean? Play, play. To play or touch. So, when you play an instrument, right? So, you play the piano, right? Okay. I, I also, oh, I was going to say, I also hear this a lot. Sometimes, you know, you go shopping, they go, you know, hey, no toca, por favor. And okay. so, you know, so that's uh, that's why the word tocar, I can remember that just from uh, several instances while simply paying attention. And then it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I actually understood what she said, you know, kind of deal. So, okay. And so if you think about hitting the drums or playing the piano, it's touching, right? So if that helps you remember. Okay. Saber tocar la batería. All right. Can we can we erase the R's on those two sabe? Is this so no one would get confused? Oh, sabe? Yes. Hey, yeah, sabe. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Um, and so number three, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Doug, you said some it went to you, so you're in. I'm, oh Doug, sorry. I'm going to bring something to eat. <laughs> I'm going to bring. I messed up on that one. That was a, a typo. <laughs> okay. I meant, that was a typo. I meant to say, because I was thinking about the English. Voy a llevarle. Voy a llevarle. I was, I was thinking about in the English. I was thinking about, I meant, because I was thinking in the English part, I wanted to put how a lot of people would say it in English for the Spanish speakers, because a lot of people will say, it, say, I'm going to bring her or I'm going to bring him something to eat. So, but uh -huh. okay. Um, I 
And of course, it's still all right to say, I'm going to take her something to eat. I'm going to take, you know, but a lot of times people will say, I'm going to bring. So I just wanted that in there so that people would. So, para los hispanohablantes también vas a escuchar, uh, I'm going to bring, I'm going to take. Algo de comer. Yeah? Good. Um, can I ask a question, please? Mm -hmm. um, can you explain the different, and I, I'm sure you'll probably get to it. I usually jump ahead for some reason, but can you explain the difference between like veneer and yavard and trier as far as like if you're at the location or if you're bringing something or you're at the store and you're bringing something to someone's house? Or if you're at the house already, the difference between traer and venir, or mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yes. So traer, oh, okay. and, traer and llevar. Uh, Bryce, you want to have a go at it? Okay. Yes. Uh, if 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 I'm at my house, for example, I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and use beer. <laughs> um, I'm going to I'm going to bring some I'm going to bring beer to the party. But mm -hmm. I, you know, of course, in Spanish, llevar, llevar, llevar cerveza a la fiesta. Um, now, now, if I'm the person on the other end, you know, someone talking about me uh, bringing the beer there, you know, they could say, um, you know, va a traer la cerveza. You see, so it's the point of view of the speaker. Mm -hmm. um, it's the point of view, like I'm the one that's going to 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 bring to take it. So I have to say a lot because it's going from point, you know, I'm starting from point A to point B, but the other person say, yeah, he's going to bring some beer. They can say that because they're already at the point and the beer is coming to them. So it's just, you just, that's, I mean, that's. So that, so Julie, that to summarize that, okay. <clears throat> if we're, it's, it's like I, what I was saying about bring the bags to the airport. Mm -hmm. I can't say I'm going to bring the bags to the airport in Spanish unless I'm at the airport. Like I'm going to go get the bags and bring them to the airport. If I'm still at my house, right. I'm, not, I'm not bringing anymore. I'm taking. And so that's the fundamental difference between English and Spanish is that in Spanish, it matters where the speaker is speaking from. I can say when I'm there, I can say, you know, traje la cerveza because I'm already there. I brought it from the other point A, wherever it was. It might have been my house or the store, so, but I'm, I reached the point and I could say, you know, I brought, I brought the beer, traje la cerveza, you know, but I'm already at the point. But, but when I'm at my house, I can't say I'm going to bring the beer to the party because it has to from one point to another to carry yeah okay all right <clears throat> now this is this next one is something um we've we have mentioned before by heart all right now in english we say i know something by heart what do we say in spanish is the memoria, oh, the memoria or the corazón we can use like the memory De memoria. Good job. De memoria. Hmm. Memoria. De memoria. Memoria. By memory. Okay. Uh, yeah. Will you translate the whole sentence, please? Yes. Can I? Can I try that? Yeah. Yes, can. Uh, se, um, se, se estos cantas de memoria. Almost. So close. Say the third word. Esas. Mm -hmm. Se esas canciones de that's, memoria. That's songs. Songs are canciones. Okay. To sing, to sing is to cantar. Sing is cantar. Songs are canciones. And one thing I want to say too uh, about this statement, me sé, for example, me sé, Esas canciones de memoria. I mean, really, when you say me sé, that already implies that it's by memory. So some people will, sometimes you'll hear people say, like, for example, me sé esas canciones de memoria, 
Oh, but if you say me say esas canciones, uh, people will know it exactly. It already know that that's by memory. So cool. it's, it's, I mean, it's fine either way, de memoria or me say esas canciones, you know, without saying de memoria. Uh, de memoria. Estas canciones. Esas es dos. De memoria. De memoria. Those, those songs. These songs is estas. Mm hmm. Good catch. Good catch. Okay. <clears throat> Good job, Brandon. Kind of it, the, the word cantar, it's interesting because uh, I thought I'd share this because sometimes you can, I mean, in English, uh, the word cantor is someone that would sing. Okay. Uh, a, a cantor would sing at a religious ceremony, perhaps, so the word cantar. That's why, you know, certain words I can like, oh, my God, I, that's where I can connect it. doesn't always work that way, but I, I just thought I'd share in case yeah. people wanted to know the English version. Oh, what's a cantor? And now in Espanol, I, I guess you could you sure that's uh, not, explain it. You sure that's not Yiddish? Cantor? Cantor? Um, it, it could be. I, I don't mean, know. use it in English, but yeah. But, but for, a, a it's, cantor it's is someone. Singer, right? Yeah, <laughs> like for a ceremony or, or for yeah. the high holidays, mm -hmm. a, a cantor is someone that obviously would sing. So that's. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So while you're speaking, okay. what's number five, Phil? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if I can at least, uh, I got part of it because I can pronounce it hopefully. It's Podrias Traerme Una Cerveza. Um, Okay, so, oh, geez, uh, I know part of it. Could, Something, could, could, you, could you please bring me a beer? Or Could you bring me a beer? That's fine. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm Canadian, so that helps, too. Beer. A, then we have to put... A, yeah, I didn't say A in <laughs> Can you imagine that? A, oh, my God. So, could you bring me a beer? So, podrías traerme una cerveza? Okay. I want to make a couple, just a couple of points, real quick, before sure. we move on. Uh, on the on the one before that, may say now the the e has to have the the mark on that, just just so people know, may say, and also just for a little more information, you get numbers, words by heart, um, directions. You remember the things you have to memorize by heart is. Um, are applicable to may say or saber say. So would that be like your times tables and things like that? Yeah, any anything you got to mem you have to memorize by heart. Yes, memorize by heart. Okay. Tablas. Right. Okay. Um. And, fun, and fun there's fun. one other thing. Go ahead, Jane. I'm sorry. Fun fact. If you've learned the multiplication tables in your native language, right? We all did that. Two times two is four. Four times four is 16, right? Even if you get to be a master Spanish speaker, you're still going to do your times tables in your native language. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> okay. Can I try number six or somebody want to try it? Yes, just, just one other thing. Uh, Danielle quick. is going to try, but you can try the next one. No, no, it's just, fine. No, no, it's fine. One other thing real quick, just keep in mind, um, I wrote these the way, it, these are, some of these can be a little tough because um, they're not all, they're not always very super literal to the English translation. And so, but just keep that in mind. Have you been to New York City? She said, okay, thank you, Bryce. Danielle is going to do that one. I'm going to try. <laughs> um, has sido a la ciudad de Nueva York? You want to use a estado? A estado. There's going to be a estado. Um, oh, oh, I was thinking sido. S I D O. Has sido. Okay. Sido. So is CEDO a word, S-I-D-O? That, that's, yes, that's, uh, that's for SER. That's the okay. participle of SER. 
Okay, so would I is that incorrect to say ah uh, as? Because it's okay. like the second. So <laughs> occasion you use a stand over. So yeah, as a, is, a is myself, but as is is who that's a two form. As, so as, yeah. as as Ciro. So a la ciudad de Nueva York. That's that's what I had said. But, but <laughs> now, now can't say that. <sighs> To be, okay, to be. So how do I say this? Okay, you you were never New York. Like, like uh, you, you were in New York, you went to New York, so but like okay. you can be tall, you can mm -hmm. be um, an engineer, but you can't oh, be New York. Be New York, okay, I get it now. It's like the difference between Sarah and a spot. I get yes, it now. That's Thank it. you for the explanation. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Now, excellent question. Now, another point, real quick. This is where the all the translations aren't exactly literal. <laughs> now, those those ways are are fine to say, and people understand. Uh, what's also common is if someone says to you, for example, "Conoces la ciudad de Nueva York?" Do you know the city? That's that's another way of saying have you have you been there? So. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bryce. I, yeah. For example, I might say, Soy de Denver, Colorado. Conoces? O la conoces? Right? Do you know it? And what I'm really asking is, have you been there? Right? Okay. <clears throat> um, you All know right. what? I, a couple, a couple of times I've, like, and just in conversation, or um, I've said as this, um, this, or oh, what am I trying to say? As visado. Um, like, have you visited? Visitado. Visitado. Sorry. Have you visited like uh -huh. yes. a country or a state yes. or something? Yeah. Just to make my life easier. <laughs> so I don't have to good. think between. Yeah, I said visitado, just so I don't have to just try to distinguish between a star and a ser. That's fine. Absolutely fine. You can say, has visto? Have you seen? Has visto? Mm -hmm. Have you seen the Eiffel Tower? Right? Okay. Um, how would you say tower? Uh, that would be my next question. And, answer, and Anna is already answering that question. Wow, you are good, Anna. Ah, que linda. <laughs> Eiffel Tower, La Torre de Torre. Eiffel. Do you say Eiffel or do you just pronounce it a different <laughs> way? Eiffel. 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 No, Eiffel. 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 Okay. Has visto La Torre de Eiffel. Torre. Okay. okay. I'm going to skip down to number 10 because I want to get a couple in here and the time flies too fast. Okay, so he wants to meet them. I bumped it down to the next page, and um, <clears throat> he wants to meet them. So when you meet somebody, right? Okay. Um, somebody raise their hand or just chime in. Chet, Chet raised his hand. Do it. Oh. Uh, you're on mute, Chet. He wants to meet them. Él quiere encontrar ellos. O él quiere encontrarlos. I used to. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Él quiere, él quiere encontrarlos. Okay, yeah, he's thinking. <laughs> okay, so what's the difference between encontrar and conocer? Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. El quiere. Anybody can can somebody kind of describe for me what you in English, okay? Mm -hmm. Encontrar versus conocer. Okay. 
Uh, conocer would be more to recognize, I believe. And contrar, uh, I think, if it would be to meet, uh, to meet somebody, uh, I'm guessing. All right. But I know, I, I think, I took okay. a stab at it. To me, and Anna or Bryce can correct me, but I think of el quiere conocerlos is exactly what we have. He wants to meet them. Mm -hmm. Okay. El quiere encontrarlos to me means he Fine. wants to Fine. find them. Fine. <laughs> thank, Fine. thank you, Doug. <laughs> el quiere reconocerlos. What's that mean? It makes that they are and dead in some way. He makes knows them. So nice. That thing. that wouldn't. Yeah, that wouldn't make. Yeah, he wants to recognize them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be. Yeah. Reconocer, that was the word. That okay. Would... <clears throat> okay. Maybe, maybe a person has amnesia or something and they're trying to get the memory <laughs> back or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So uh, you, you will hear conocer used for to meet, to meet somebody. I'm sure you have heard people say mucho gusto. When they meet you, mucho gusto, as short for mucho gusto, and conocerte. It's nice to meet you. Like we say, if I meet Danielle, I might say, it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. What I really mean is, it's a pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Mucho gusto is a short for mucho gusto en conocerte. Great, 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 great. Okay, 11. Oh. I'm gonna pick on uh, some Spanish speakers. Let's see, Raquel was in the house. Raquel, number 11, please. Number 11, por favor. Um. Uh, you're on mute again. Push it yeah, again. Yeah, I'm sorry. My fault. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. ¿Conoces algún buen restaurante de comida rápida por aquí? What a great ¿Conoces? sentence. Oh, no. Restaurante de comida rápida por aquí. Mm. Sí, McDonald's en la esquina. Do, do you know? Mm. Do you not um comida rápida? Fast food restaurant. Uh, maybe good pass. No, no. That's food. Do you know say, some... Raquel, nosotros decimos fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Good fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, good fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. And what's por aquí? Por aquí. Uh, um, fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, por aquí, Bryce, you agree, just like near here, near me? Oh. Near, here. Around here. Here. near here, around here. Around here. Around here. Could you say cerca aquí or I say close, that's more specific that's close to here near here right? okay. close yeah cerca okay. is close see mm -hmm. yep. around here but we don't we're not you're and you're never going to say alrededor right around here <laughs> Uh, you can say a los, en los alrededores. En los alrededores. Yeah, it's not like super common, but you can say that. But around it, here, yeah. en los alrededores. Okay, in... Around in, in, in the... En la manzana, sí. En la manzana, <laughs> sí, okay. <laughs> Una manzana, okay. Where does that phrase come from? Is there, Okay, everybody, often in uh, Spanish-speaking countries, you'll hear the word manzana. Everybody knows apple, right? 
Mansana is a block, roughly. Like, okay. Um, you, you've all heard of the Big Apple, New York, mm -hmm. right? The See? Big Apple. Apparently, I maybe that came from the Puerto Ricans or somebody, the Big Apple, La Manzana, right? <laughs> I don't mm. know, but yeah, it's cool. <laughs> okay, sorry for that tangent. Um, <clears throat> number 12, anybody? Been able to saber más sobre la empresa. Mm -hmm. Queremos saber más de o sobre la empresa o compañía. Mm -hmm. Ah, empresa, like the business. Okay. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. empresario is businessman. So, mm -hmm. yes, it so is. That, okay. Or ah. businesswoman. Or businesswoman. That's true. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> no. Uh, Bye. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. All right. No los conozco. <laughs> no los conozco. I don't know them. All right. Oh, sorry, it's my turn, huh? <laughs> I don't know them, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know them. Okay. Is this clear, everybody? Conozco is conozco is conjugated as me, first person, right? I know. Mm -hmm. Yo conozco, right? Los is them. I them don't know. Know them I know. Them I don't. <laughs> them, yeah, know them I know. <laughs> know them I know. Okay? Okay. Right. Okay. Lost them. Okay. Okay. We're whipping through these. Levy, I so want to pick on you. You're just sitting there all quiet. <laughs> Give, it oh, yeah. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> okay. I know no conozco uh, no. la buena pregunta. Oh okay. no, los buenos preguntas. It's okay. So instead of questions, it's answer. Oh, answers respuestas. Respuestas, say respuestas. Es respuestas. That's it. Respuestas correctas. Great. Great pronunciation. Excellent. Respuestas correctas. Okay. And again, from the word yeah, response, re respuestas, it's very easy to, you know. Responses. Yeah. 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 Responses. So mm -hmm. that also helps. Uh -huh. So, no conozco or no sé. I don't know. Okay, I have something to say about that. Um, yeah. I now I know I would normally use say because respuestas is is information, and normally it's not as con common. The reason I'm saying because I I don't really see two, uh, situations where conocer and saber are interchangeable. Now, in, unless there's maybe just some regional thing that I don't know about. Um, but, but normally it's when you important. wrote this sentence, you were thinking of conocer, right? No, no when well. I wrote when I was saber. I was no me sé las respuestas. You, okay. You me sé. Now this is no one that, now now I was gonna say this is one that it's kind of say me say because it's information, but it's also memorized information. So it's one of those that yeah, those are possibly interchangeable, say, and may say in this case, because it is information, but it is memorizing. So, but yeah, you know, conozco, I, I wouldn't use conozco with this one. Mm. You will or you wouldn't? I wouldn't. No. But you wouldn't. will, okay. 
-hmm. Is there going to be a debate here between Anna and Bryce? Let's do I don't debate. <laughs> we don't argue. <laughs> That's why we are happy. <laughs> no arguments. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, 15th. I want to try, please. Hey, can, can we can we take Konosko off of there? Because I don't want there to be any confusions. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So before we go on to 15, um, <clears throat> Levy? Yes. Yes. Just please read those two responses. Okay. Uh, no say las, re las respuestas correctas. No me say las respuestas correctas. Awesome. Okay. Great. Write those down or download this uh, file after the uh, after the meeting ends. It'll be in the group and just download that and sleep on it tonight. Sure. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. So, yes. All right, Ken, go ahead. Jump into number 15. So it's uh, they know cumbia dance. Is it like, is it correct? They know cumbia dance or they yeah. know how to dance cumbia. There you yes. go. I would say that in English, they know how yeah. to, they know how to dance cumbia. Now, um, part of cumbia. So notice in Spanish, we don't mm -hmm. need the como bailar. Mm. They, we don't need the ellos saben como. Right. In this oh. case. Why? Somebody explain Anna or Bryce or Asalia or somebody tell us why we don't need como. It's an ability. And and the, the knowing the ability, you really don't have you don't have to say como. It's an ability. Um, so the say already indicates how, you know how. Okay. Are there also, any yes, when you say say como hacerlo? Uh, you are yeah. thinking about the details, the tactic, yeah, or the yeah, way yeah. step by step process. Yeah, because that's different. Yeah. But that's when you say, you say, como hacerlo, because you are going to talk about it or show how to do it. Or you yeah. can, or you are saying that you are able to explain step by step the process of how you do something. So the difference is knowing how to dance versus knowing a particular like all the steps of a particular dance, mm -hmm. like how to do a particular dance. Does that yeah. make any sense or, or some sense for everybody? Mm -hmm. Como hacer, all right. <clears throat> I do I'm not sorry. know, I do not know who Peso Pluma is. Peso Pluma. <laughs> <laughs> También, I don't he's, know. A, he's a famous singer. Eso pluma. Es un cantante. Yo pensé que era un boxeador. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he, he got that nickname from a boxer. From, okay. Um, from ah. uh, Marco Antonio Barrera. He got okay. the nickname from him. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Danielle had her hand you. up and then she took it down. How come? Danielle, you can jump in there, number 16. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to give it a try. I thought someone else had already jumped in, but um, so I I know who Peso Pluma is. Yo conozco quién es Peso Pluma. That's perfect. Right. Praise God. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. Yes. Okay. Peso Pluma. I redeemed myself from butchering the other one. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. This is a good. Conozco. This is a good reason I put this one because. There's a there's a difference when you know if you know someone personally that's conozco you know if I know ah. peso personally conozco but if I know who he is I'm using saber instead. of him right yes you know ah. of him yes okay who is peso I, pluma yeah see si. he's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a famous Mexican singer oh and he's, he's okay also he's he's one of the biggest cantor. Yeah, yes. he's very famous and the youngest. Yeah, he's a, done a lot. Asalia, of... conoces peso pluma? Yes. Like, like, no te gusta. No le gusta. 
some people like him, some people don't. You know, he, he's a he's a huge he's a huge star. Some people like you know, he's just like any other. Yeah, that's the guy. Uh, I mean, this yeah. is gonna sound really funny. Being that I I didn't know who Peso Pluma was until now, I thought it was a type of pen. You know, as soon as, <laughs> right. I, as, soon as like I heard a, it, uh, oh, it's a Peso Pluma oh, feather, oh, feather. Nice. You know, wonder what it costs. Yeah. You know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Bueno, ¿y qué, qué canta Peso Pluma? ¿Qué género canta? Canta el Ok, no, no, no lo conozco. Ok. I thought it was fake money. Right, ok. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Pesos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody knows who All right. Pluma. I'm shocked. <laughs> No. You are a seller, the only ones. And a seller, a seller is a liar. All right. Nos conocimos. Nancy's got her hand up, her actual hand. <laughs> We've known each other five years. Nos conocimos hace unos... Uh, gosh, I just blacked out. Cinco años. Sorry. Right. In English, we say we've known, we have known, right? Mm -hmm. We've known or we have known. Everybody knows that by now, I'm sure. We have known each other for five years. No, but then no, we nos hemos conocido around. desde hace cinco oh, años. But right. nos, oh. nos conocimos, it's like we met. We met, met, we met right. each other. five years ago. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm. We, we met each uh, other around five now the unos and the, if we if we didn't have the unos mm. in there we met each other five years ago but the unos represents around five years unos cinco años we uh, met each other on. around five years ago uh ah hmm. he ain't very good <laughs> i'm really glad i did this lesson oh my <laughs> no, god <laughs> yes. i'm sorry that was that was my bad nancy I'm no sorry. it's all right um, we met each other about five years ago, or, you know, unos cinco años, right? Hmm. Hace unos cinco años. That's a really good thing to write down in your journal, everybody. Yeah. Hace unos diez años, hace unos number años, okay? About six years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. If you just kind of equate that, hace unos number años, It'll just flow, right? Aproximadamente cinco años. Okie dokie. I have not been to Myrtle Beach, but somebody here has. You? Quick question. Just, I have a quick question just regarding that previous one. Uh -huh. With that hace unos. <laughs> hace unos. Mm hmm so this hace unos uh, is translated by each other about? Oh. No, no, so the unos. The, the unos cinco años is what in English feels like or equates to about five. We don't know exactly because if, if, we, if we take out the unos, if we just have nos conocimos hace cinco años, it, it's definite, but if we put in unos cinco años, it's not definite. It's about. Levy, does that make any sense? Well, well, just explain to her. Uh, well, the hace no is both ways. If you say hace, just let's take out the unos. If you say hace cinco años, that means five years ago. Hace mm -hmm. dos semanas, that means two weeks ago. Hace plus a time itself is just, you know, I say cinco minutos, uh, five minutes ago, but the unos makes it around or about. Oh. Oh. That makes more sense but, to me, thank but, you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, the unos, yeah, okay, great. Thank you for that. Okay, I have been to Myrtle Beach. Anybody been there? Mm -hmm. Sí. Yo. I have. Uh -huh. Antes muchos Yo años. Uh -huh. Jugando Hace golf. muchos años. Okay. Good. 
All right, so how do we say that, somebody? Oh, um, I, can, I guess I can chime in. Um, hmm. a, um, a Estado, um, Myrtle Beach. Um, I'm sorry, what was the sentence I'm driving? I have been to Myrtle Beach. Oh, okay, a Estado, um, on Myrtle Beach. Okay, and Myrtle Beach. Yeah, good job. Good job, Julie. Now focus on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually do have a question if you, um, I, I probably have to get off the call in a minute, but I do have a question about Conocer. Um, mm -hmm. And it's uh, it kind of like drives me crazy a little bit because I want to say Conocer, like if, if I'm saying something like um, we're meeting to network or something like that, I would say like, you know, Conocemos or something like that. And then I'm corrected by a Spanish speaker, like to use another verb because it's not appropriate. But I know if you're meeting someone for the first time, you say, you use conocer. So um, I guess I just want clarity on that maybe. So in this case, meeting is not the two people encountering each other. It's the new, it's the two people um, having, uh, um, being in the same place at the same time meeting, right? Like like a business meeting, right? Okay. So But are you are you saying that because they're meeting for the first time or are you saying that because they're just meeting each other for the well, first time? I think what or is that the same thing? Well, what I got from you was we're meeting like in a networking thing. Yeah, we're meeting to network. Um, but I mean, these are people I might have seen before, I've met before, mm -hmm. but I'm just meeting other people, maybe. Right. You know I mean? So it's it's um, it's more like reunion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I always thought reunion was like more to join, you know? Yeah. Well, but reunimos, like Anna put in here. All right. That's mm -hmm. that's the more of the meeting, like a networking meeting. Mm. or a business meeting or um uh when you're when you're meeting for a purpose a pta meeting right versus meeting somebody and getting to know them to encounter them to um meet them for the first time okay um Thank you. I hope yeah. it helps. Uh, yeah. No, it does. You, you, prob it. you probably cannot see what Anna is writing at the moment, but have a look at it after you get back home and uh, have a look at the document. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh huh. Okay. Let's do just let's do one more, and then we'll leave one for everybody to do do his homework. Who wants to jump in here? I'll do it. I haven't done one. I, I'll do one. Okay. Ya sé la dirección. I already know the address. Every man <laughs> says. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I already. Yes. I already know the address. Dirección. Right. Interesting. I already dirección. know the address. Okay. Ya sé. What about the last uh, one? I already know. The last one. All right. You're the boss. Do it. Who do you want to do it? Bryce, pick on somebody. Um, let's get Doug to do it. Doug. I know I know a place that you will like. Uh, Conozco un lugar que uh, te gusta. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. He knows his stuff. That's good. That's good. Good job, Doug. That's real good. That's real good. You know, I was just because one like that, I know a place, you know, sometimes it can kind of cross between Saber and Conocer when people think, but you got it exactly right. That's good. Conozco is I know, that's present tense. Mm -hmm. Gustara is will like future tense. Will like future tense. But Gustara. it's the same in English. Yeah. I know a place you will like. Will like. Okay. 
Excellent. Good job. Usuario de Zoom. ¿Cómo te llamas? Usuario de Zoom. ¿Quién es? Andrea. Andrea. Ah, Andrea. I'm sorry. It's a little bit fuzzy. ¿Cómo estás? Está en silencio. Ok. Su micrófono. A ver, ¿ahí? Sí. Ok. Andrea, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenida. Gracias, James. Gracias. Aquí estoy poniendo atención a todo lo que dicen ellos. Ok, muy bien. Escuchando el inglés, ¿sí? Sí. ¿Aprendiste, aprendiste algo? Hoy oh, sí, claro que sí. Ok, muy los bien. Los sonidos, sobre todo se me quedan un poquito más los acentos, los sonidos de ellos. Sí, exacto. Ok, muchos mm -hmm. acentos aquí en este grupo. Sí. Uh -huh. Muy bien, ¿preguntas? ¿Tienes preguntas? No, creo eh, que no. Ok. Estoy... Bueno. Ok. <clears throat> yes. Good. Ok. Well, thank you, everybody. Let's uh, stop sharing. Ok. Any last minute requests or sh anything? Algo? Is yes. There... Before yes. we leave, I want to wish all the men that are fathers a blessed Father's Day. Mm -hmm. is coming. Well, aren't you sweet? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody Happy here? Father's Day. Anybody here? Father's Day. Uh, no. Today is Father's Day. Yeah, this Sunday. Seventeenth. Sunday yeah. will be. Uh -huh. Sunday, man. Yeah. Feliz Dia de los Padres. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've had like five different Mother's Days the last month and a half. <laughs> uh -huh. Different countries. Happy Father's Day. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hay otro okay. de, de, de los padres en, en otros países en Nicaragua, ¿cuándo es? 23 de junio. Ok. ¿En, oh. en, en México? Creo que la segunda, la segunda semana de junio. Segunda semana, ok. Ya ha pasado. Este es Sunday, creo. Ok. Este domingo va a ser. Okay. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Sunday. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay. <clears throat> Entonces, have a beautiful week, everybody. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, make sure you're active in the group. Check the Facebook group. Um, uh, be part of the community. Help each other. Okay. If you see some questions, try and help if you can. Uh, be nice to everybody. Okay. Thank you, Jane. Right. Gracias. Okay. Thank you, Ana. Thank you, Ana. Gracias. Gracias, Ana. Gracias. 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 All right. Great job. Adios. Adios. Job. Carol, we Bye. didn't hear from you, but I hope you're doing well. Bye, and thank you. Right. Bye.